What's going on guys, my name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. This video is going to be a fairly quick uh, roundup to, to all the bits I picked up on this particular Saturday car boot, which was woeful. Um, I, I've not picked up a great deal, there's a few bits I need to go through and sort out for my own personal collection, uh, which we'll probably do first and then the reselling bits on the, on the later part of the video, which is again... To be fair, it's only about two items. So today was a struggle. Um, got to the car boot at 5.45 um, and they literally just let the buyers in. Apparently it's because they were severely understaffed. They were actually letting the sellers in at around two o'clock in the morning. So what people would normally do is just park up uh, and keep in the van until it was ready to, to go into the field and start selling. But they let people go in very, very, very early. So yeah. Didn't miss a great deal though, to be fair, I didn't actually hear of anyone getting anything particularly fantastic, so this is what I got. First up is a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas Platinum Edition on the PS1. It has both of the maps and the manual all in really good condition, but not keeping it, so if anyone wants it, then give me a shout. Then I bought this small bundle for £5, where we have Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, we also have Naruto The Broken Bond, and Tekken 4. Fairly sure I already have Tekken 4, but I'll go through and see whether I need to swap anything out. Uh, Naruto won't be staying, and I came to the party very, very late with these, so I missed all the uh, half decent titles. There's a lot of LEGO stuff, um, LEGO, Marvel LEGO, uh, Xbox 360 games, and that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, got to missed out on that. Bought these two right at the end. These were a pound each, so we've got the Lord of the Rings, uh, the two towers. I don't actually have this one. I have Return of the King, I think. Uh, it's only like a three pound game, but it's one that I don't have. And we also have uh, Worms for Mayhem on the PS2. Fairly sure I have this, but it's in fairly good condition. So again, go to the lockup uh, and just swap out what I need. And then bought some bits from Mr. Dave Toys. I paid eight pound for the lot. So we have nothing major. Um, the best bit is going to be The Legend of Zelda, uh, but unfortunately, as you can tell from the blackness of the box, it is a US version. So we have Mace Griffin, Bounty Hunter, Duel Masters, Dynasty Warriors 2, Tenchu, uh, Wrath of Heaven, Genji, and Ace Lightning. Now, of all those, I think the, the Tenchu uh, game is probably worth the most, uh, maybe £3. I don't even know what that was that moved. There may be a ghost in the office. Shush. So... Right, but this one, yes, it's the US version, but there's also something else inside it. So Dave had some Pokemon cards. So I went through and took out the ones that I wanted, and then I took out all the ones that were fake so that hopefully he'd have more chance of actually selling them. So I have hidden in here the cards that I have bought, which there's nothing like major. Um, it would have been nice if they were in English, or at least the one that I wanted was in English. So first up is a Charizard GX, which I think is potentially in Spanish. Um, we also have an English Machamp GX and a Snorlax GX. So, but yeah, I would say I'm keeping hold of that. To be fair, I'm keeping hold of all of them. We're going into the full arts um, folder of just lovely hollow goodness. And the last lot of items, these were all five pounds a piece. So we have a nice set of taps. Don't normally pick up this sort of thing, uh, but speaking to one of the other guys who trades on the car boot, he said plumber stuff is amazing. Half the time you can pick it up completely brand new for pennies, and you can flip it for like 70% of the retail price. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take that on, uh, on board, and next time I see some plumbing bits, I'm gonna have a look. So I bought these taps uh, for five pounds. Should be getting around, it would help if I had it the right way up, wouldn't it? Or is that the wrong way up? No, right. So taps, Lo lovely, lovely taps, tapas. So paid a fiver, um, should be getting about 20 pound including postage. So there's about a tenner to be made, give or take. Then I've picked up these as well. Two port valves, uh, paid five pound a piece. I've got six in total. We're looking at between uh, 25 and 30, including postage a piece. So don't take much room they're a little bit heavy that's about it but really useful boxes are obviously really useful so i can just stick all these in a new box which will be labeled plumbing i suppose 
and there we go that is a whole of saturday car boot done as i say not a great deal uh, i know that mo picked up a crash bandicoot but it was a platinum version uh, there were some other bits there was some loose n64 games there was nothing it was a really strange car boot i mean the weather's been today it was really nice but it wasn't too hot you could wear shorts but you wouldn't well i was wearing jeans today and you wouldn't be melting wearing jeans so it was a nice calm day the the wind wasn't dreadful it wasn't cloudy it wasn't too hot it wasn't too cold and the car boot was just strange but i'll be honest once i had all those uh, those valves in my bag I just wanted to go home because they were so heavy um, in an Ikea bag as well. So, I mean, Ikea bags are not particularly comfortable. And when you're trying to put them on your shoulder as well, it's just not going to happen, man. So, yeah, it is what it is. Not the best day, not the worst day. It's just one of those mediocre days, which we all absolutely hate. So, uh, yeah, that is it from me. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. And I will see you lovely lot in the next video. Good gaming and happy collecting. Adios.